video games and dies in prime. Give me. Yes. Yes. My name is Pat May. <laughs> Uh, no Suleiman Beck today, he couldn't be here, so we got Alex Braz last What week. up, my friends? And today, we have an incredible guest. She is the uh, founder of The Armory, and you can look up the Shot for Shot <laughs> show, which is an incredible show, on the, up. on the armorycomedy.com. Put your hands together for Leah Evans! together. Everybody watching, put your hands together. Stand up. I'm the girl. That's the girl. <laughs> That's true. We also have another girl here. We also have Anna Vicente behind the camera, but we have the incredible in front of us making uh, noises with hands putting together. Uh, Leah Evans. Uh, Leah Evans, a uh, really cool show she's got on set. You can see it most nights, most Saturdays. I most guess. nights? Most nights. Well, Damn. Most officially Saturday nights, yeah. most nights unofficially. Right, mm -hmm. right. Because you just like to get drunk and scream. No, don't say that. I'm in charge of a theater. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> Uh, but she does this incredible show called Shot for Shot, where uh, they reenact movies with a script, but they also have a very crazy drinking game with it as well. And it's super duper funny. I got to watch the Pokemon movie when I went. Mm. Mm -hmm. And uh, instead of, in, during the moments where Pikachu let, did an electric attack, these motherfuckers shot them a beer. I hope my parents watch this. They'll be so proud of me. <laughs> what's of the, what's the likelihood of them watching this? Very likely. Oh, really? really? Very li but how would they find it? Uh, I share stuff. Oh, yeah. Hey. Well, there you go. I like that. Digging uh, your own grave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where is your, are your parents not in the city? No, they're not. They're in upstate New York. Oh. Um, we actually recently did a show in upstate New York in my hometown and uh, brought some of the armory to meet my parents. Oh, nice. Hell yeah. yeah. Did they get along? Oh, uh, they did. They all they love Sue and Dave. Uh, Sue and Dave. <laughs> they're always at it. Sue, yeah, just wait. Sue and Dave. Sue and Dave. Um, but they came and saw us do improv, and then we did a shot for shot. Uh, we did shot for shot the Phantom Menace up there, oh, and uh, awesome. so they were like, "Can we stay?" And I was like, "No, you absolutely cannot stay." Because <laughs> there's too much debauchery. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Uh, it's pretty bad. Did uh, they see a really crazy show? How did how do you like to perform in front of parents? Um, I don't really like to censor that much. Mm -hmm. uh, Good for you. But yeah, I mean, I'm sure that they still think improv is scripted, so. <laughs> um, and uh, what game are we playing right now? Oh, I'm, good point. Oh. This is really stressing me out. This game? Yeah. Yeah, turn it off. No, no games. Turn, no games. <laughs> I don't fare well with video games. Uh, this is Enter the Gungeon. This is another roguelike that I really like a lot. My only complaint is it's fucking impossible. Yeah. And when you make a roguelike, and do you guys know what roguelikes are? No. I pretend like I do. Okay, I'll, so roguelike means it's different every time. So like the basic layouts and characters are the same, oh. but they mix up what enemies are where, what the overall map oh. is. The rooms are always different. That's kind of cool. So when the game is fucking impossible, oh, yeah. and you can't even memorize it, it can't gets a little it. tough. Well, um, he kind of looks like if Leonardo DiCaprio and Conan O'Brien had a baby she with a hair. Oh, it's a she. Yeah, do you want to see it? She's at, well, they could have a, a daughter. I can't get her picture. They could. Right they could. Yet. Speaking of daughters, <laughs> oh, no. we got our sponsor, Best Buy. Best Buy. Good for your daughter. Good for your son. Do not bring your children anywhere else except Best Buy. So they... If you they need baby stuff, you need baby food, Best Buy will help you get that. That's why they're the best buy. They sponsor the oh, yeah. show, and we have a bunch of questions from fans and uh, haters, maybe? Oh, it's uh, more haters than fans, unfortunately. Oh, this is an interesting, weird question. What's that? Uh, Leah and Pat, what scary movie trope are you? Ooh. Oh! Oh! Wait. Uh, <laughs> uh, I can go first. If, if you, you can go, to. totally go first. Okay, so I thought about it. I think it's gonna have to be like that stoner guy who like gets killed oh, really, no. really soon. I, I might not be the first, but like in the party. Yeah. If I'm like in the, you know what I mean? Like the party. Yes, uh, you're the party boy. I would be the, no, like no, you're party the party boy. that deals with the murderer, not like the first murder that like we go in on. But you're like the That's casual a, ease in murder. Like, yeah. all right, the first one wasn't a fluke. This is definitely a serial exactly. killer. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Not yeah. the like first person where you like lights up, here's our first victim. But like, uh -huh. I think as soon as like you have to kind of give a shit about characters, 
I'm the one to go, you know? Yeah. What about you, Leah? What, what show for you? I don't watch many scary movies, but okay. I'm going by the movie uh, Scream. I'd be that <laughs> nerdy person who knows everything that's happening. Uh-huh. And you call it out. Yeah, as it's happening, and then I yeah. eventually die. Maybe not the first one, but the sequel. You have the... I remember in Scream 3, they had a really weird character like that. Or they... It's the whole... Not Scream 3. Was it Scream 4? I didn't see Scream 4. I saw Scream 3. Okay. I saw Scream 3. How many are there? Four? There's, There's a lot. Four. There Wait, might be five. No, there might be five. What? There Ooh, might be. Really? We're, we're gonna we're gonna fact check it real quick. We'll fact check it after the episode. No, we'll after fact we check it now. <laughs> that's well, that's that's part of the fun of this of the show is that we can just fact check it right away and tell the viewers what it is. Exactly. Exactly. There are four scary movies. Officially. Oh man! You know, really? I actually was probably counting the scary movies. Oh, I mean, <laughs> scream, scream. <laughs> Not scary. How many scary movies? Are wait, there? wait, 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 wait. We're talking about Scream, right? Not Scream. scream. I was originally talking movies. about Scream and then Scream. <laughs> it's crazy that it's so easy to confuse the two. Guys, I don't know how to host a show. Should I be the first to say? Uh, no, no. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. It's so impressive that you can do this and also talk at the same time. I'm trying. Uh, All right, you guys ready? There are five scary movies. Nice. Four like, screens. Okay. Five scary movies. Scream was doing the real <laughs> thing for a while. All right. Yeah. I watched your movie. <laughs> I saw it. Um, I gotta say, uh, wasn't scary. What? Wasn't scary. What? Didn't scare me. What? Do I have to repeat myself? What? I didn't think your movie was that scary. We put so much money into it. We put so much money into it. It's a well-made movie. Did I uh, shake in my boots? No. Did I pee myself? No. I wasn't scared. Okay, listen, mouse boy, okay? What, what about the little mouse? Maybe, maybe mouse stuff scares you, doesn't scare me, all right? I want something really frightening, really terrifying, really gory. Mm -hmm. You had a bunch of mice running around and doing little jump scares with mice. Ah! <laughs> even, is... even me saying it scares you? Yeah! This is kind of what I wanted to bring up. You're our history teacher. I don't understand why we have to make a scary movie. This is your final project, This okay? makes no sense. This is worth 75% of your grade. I want to be spooked, okay? All right? History's scary enough. There was some scary stuff in history. Yeah. The Holocaust, the Great Depression. <laughs> you <laughs> led with that? Bub <laughs> bubonic plague. Oh, God. I'm so, kids, <laughs> scare me. I'm going to give you one more chance. All right, you have 10 minutes to brainstorm. 10 minutes? <laughs> 10 minutes? And then you gotta start recording. Well, that's not post, that's not pre, that's not. What an adventure that was. <laughs> that was. Alex, that's not nearly enough time for us to make a fucking movie. Okay, well, it's my character minutes. wasn't reasonable, all right? I was staying consistent, mm -hmm. right? You, right. you tell your performers to, to just be consistent with their yes, character. Yes, I always call them to the front of the class <laughs> and then lecture them in front of everybody. Um, I think that that's a good move, right? What do you. Uh, you at all, the army now teaches a little bit, right? Yes, uh, we Still have uh, the greenhouse. Uh, oh, yeah. So it's the whole thing is it's not based on levels. It's kind of oh. like a pick your own major in college where you can pick disciplines that you want. Interesting. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. what are some of the majors? Um, right now, there's very few classes running right now because we're kind of easing into it. But finding your voice is one. Uh, creating a world is another. Um, we are hoping to eventually have sketch classes so oh, that cool. way. Or oh, yeah. sketch one off so you can hear your stuff read aloud. And maybe you're not the most confident person in the world oh, who has man. a bunch of people that can read for you. I <laughs> hope you guys do sketch classes well because right now, oh. this, Me is too. My, this is my... <laughs> Uh, all the improv theater uh, owners and, and people who run those theaters, yeah. you're doing sketch classes wrong. Wow. Right? Yeah, yeah. So Shots fired at every improv theater. Thanks for having me in this shot. You're <laughs> Thanks so much. Well, you know, <laughs> you haven't done it. I'm not calling the armory out. No, no, no. Yet. No. <laughs> Wait, so this is kind of interesting because Alex, you were a teacher in uh, in Baltimore. In Baltimore. Oh, yeah. my sister lives in Baltimore. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think anyway. Oh boy, you guys don't talk. <laughs> no, we do. Oh, it's okay, definitely okay, Baltimore. Okay. I get like the B That's cities strange. confused. It's like Boston and Baltimore. I always people do mix up Boston and Baltimore. Yeah. Um, I yeah, I just think that uh, sketch classes are just a bunch of like, all right, write the sketch. All right, we read all the sketches. All right, here's the next sketch to write for next week. But we're not like actually really. Sinking our teeth You're not into getting deep how to right. write a sketch, mm. how to do it, how to brainstorm. I want like some some cool stuff like that. I don't want to get too deep into it. I just wonder if it's because people don't want to critique you because they're worried that they won't come back. 
Mm -hmm. There's I, a fine line between being supportive and then also. That's a fair point. That's in there, okay? Sketch class, sketch class, sketch class. Sketch class. The year is 1875. Everyone is dead. Okay. What humor have you brought to lighten our dark, uh, pubonic plague written lives? Okay, I'm just finishing up. Sketch class. Are you still finishing your sketches? Yes! Everyone is, has died. There's no one to do a show for. It's hard to be happy when there's no one yeah. there. Ah, oh, sketch class. We still have each other, don't we? We still have me. When sketch comedy is at its lowest is when it must be its strongest. By lowest, I mean the outside world being super sad and us needing to take the call of comedy and make it so that the bubonic plague isn't so bad anymore. Okay. Now. Well, I have my sketch ready now. Sketch class, yes. Uh, do you Let want us me? hear your sketch. Okay, so it's basically like the characters are my parents and my brother and sister who have passed away and it's just me like really missing them. Um, I don't really have like an ending for it. I don't have like a button like you were talking about last week, a button for the sketch. Mm. But it's really just like me what about at the end, just, someone just says, that's it. Someone just turns around and says, that's it. I guess it would be me because I'm the only character remaining in the sketch. So I'll just say that's, I'll just that's say it. that's it. That's it. That's it. This makes me not laugh. And in fact, makes me even sadder about the bubonic plague terrorizing us humans. I am now even sadder than I was before. Okay. That is an F. Make sure you rewrite this and bring it back next. All right. Week. Okay. Do you know our names? You just calling us sketch class and then humans. I just wanna. There's only two of us left. Everyone yeah. else is dead. Well, if I were to learn your names and then emotionally attached, oh, once okay. you die, I will become quite sad. So, you so wanna... let us leave names out of this. I am Professor Sketch. You are Sketch Class. Now, do you want to read your sketch? I'll read my sketch. Uh, it starts off with me and uh, my parents. Yeah. And uh, it starts off really great. We're on the dinner table laughing and then they both pass away from the bubonic plague. And then I turn around and I look to uh, the audience, which is you, and I say, that's it. Okay. Me and the skull of my mother are not laughing. This, this, oh. this skull of my mother. Mm. We are not <laughs> laughing. Sketch class is looking awful poor this evening, isn't it? it yeah, it doesn't feel good. You're not looking so great. What? Yeah, you look no, kind of good. sick, dude. What are you talking about? I'm young and... <laughs> uh, your oh. ears fell off. <laughs> 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 